I'd like to show you some tips today for slaying the reed. Hi, I'm Karen from Warped for Good. I'm using a metric 100 dent reed, which is equivalent to an imperial 25 dent reed. And I'm slaying two ends per dent of 24 over two cotton. It's a challenge, isn't it? You might think of it as slaying a dragon, but no, we're just going to slay the reed. A common way to slay the reed is to separate the warp ends, pulling it out with your thumb and then holding those threads. I have two ends to go into the dent and then put those two ends in the dent and do that again and again. However, when I'm using finer threads like this 24 over two cotton, I prefer to gather more threads at once so that I can keep my focus on the dents in the reed. So I'm going to separate out four pairs of warp threads, holding on to the warp ends with my right hand to make it easier to separate these pairs. I'm pushing that heddle to the side so I can get the first pair, put my thumb in there to separate that. Two more threads, two more, and two more. And now I'm going to hold those warp ends under my hand to maintain that tension. I'm setting my slay hook right next to the end of the reed where I can see I'm at the next available dent, but then I'm pulling it to the center where there's more space for that slay hook to come through. And I'll pull each of these sets of threads down while keeping my eyes on those small I will continue doing this with four pairs of threads at a time until I have slayed 16 pairs of threads. Now I have slayed 16 pairs of threads into the dents. And the only reason I picked the number 16 is, uh, for one thing, it's easy to count. It's a multiple of four, since I'm doing four pairs at a time. And probably most important, because if I did make an error, it's not that many threads to redo if necessary. Two things I do to check my work are, First, I'll separate the heddles that have the threads that I just slayed. And then I can count the heddles at the top, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and so on, to make sure I do have 32 heddles. The second thing I do to check my work is what I call the click test. And I'm, I can run my slay hook along the reed and listen to the sound. Can you hear this? And in that way, I can count how many dents I have filled with threads in this section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seventeen. That tells me I have one skipped dent, since I should only have 16 dents. If I pull the threads down taut, I can see that skipped dent. So that's an easy fix. If I had uh, counted and heard 15 dents, then I would know to look for 
one dent that had doubled threads. Now those few threads have been re-slayed, so I will tie the slip knot to hold those ends together under the reed. I'm ready to slay the next group of warp ends. And I'm slaying two ends per dent using 24 over two cotton. This is a little bit of a fine thread. This is a somewhat fine thread. So in some ways, I might approach this like slaying a dragon, but no, instead I'm going to slay the reed. <laughs>